Hey, it's Mary Squared today because not only did we talk about the unraveling your beliefs earlier, but now we're going to talk about the ripple effect. So the ripple effect exercise is extremely important for you to understand how valuable you are and what kind of a difference that you are making in the world. Um, it's also one of the exercises that people find extremely challenging. Um, Roxanne didn't mention this, but she was assigned this exercise to be the example in the workbook, and this was very tough for her. And I think that the reason it can be super tough is because we don't, we're not really in the practice of taking time to congratulate ourselves or taking credit for, for things that we've done at all. And when someone tries to give us credit, you know, we can deflect it. So when people say, hey, you know, I think that that work that you're doing is great, we can actually start to criticize ourselves right in front of that person. And so I'm going to give you a little um, pro tip on, on completing this exercise. So if you're having trouble, think of a time that someone went out of their way to thank you for something. So, you know, maybe they sent you a thank you card or maybe they sent you a message on Facebook or gave you a phone call just to say, hey, you know what, I really need to let you know how much I appreciated this thing that you did. Then ask yourself, what effect did that have on them? So when you start to think in terms of good questions to ask yourself, you'll, you'll start to loosen your resistance to the exercise. So Tony Robbins always says, if you want a better answer, ask a better question. So what effect did that thing you did have on the person? And then also ask yourself, where are they at with this now? So, you know, if this was something that happened several years ago, or if this was something that happened two weeks ago, what is it that you see them doing as a result of this thing that you did? So um, I just wanted to mention a couple of mine. Um, at first, I was extremely intimidated at coming up with five, but what I noticed happened is that um, after I started doing the first couple, then later in the day, they started popping in my head. It was, it was not a problem. Um, so for the people that have done stuff for me, I came up with uh, my friend Andrew. So I think it was in 2013, I told him I had a concept for a speech that I wanted to give. And he came to my office the next day and he said, hey Mary, um, I booked you a speech. And I was like, oh, okay, I better write that speech now. And so I did, and it's really turned into a big thing. And to be honest, without that moment, I really doubt that I would have gotten a book deal because, you know, just that little thing he did was getting me a speech at his, you know, lunch meeting organization for a small association. Um, also, I want to say that my brother, um, years ago, and I don't, I don't have the best relationship with my brother, but years ago, he told me about some behavior that I had at work. And that was, what he told me was that I had a habit of reacting at a level 10 to things that I should react at a level 2. And I thought about that a lot, and I and I've just learned so much from that day. And so the ripple effect is that I've been able to strive to stay calm in chaos as being a CEO and realize much more the effect that my reactions have on other people. And what's even more important is that I've been able to teach this to other people and sometimes even say, you know, your emergency is not my emergency. So that, that's been really something I've kept in my life for the last 10 years. And lastly, um, I have a person that helps me with a lot of things at home. Her name is Marie, and she is very much like a mother figure to me. And honestly, she does so much for me, little things sometimes just to anticipate, like um, just help me run errands or just something that I can't get to. She she does that, and the ripple effect is that it takes that that much burden just off of my shoulders. So, you know, I don't have a partner, so her doing these things is, um, it's made a huge difference in my life, and my life just would not work without her. So I'm hugely appreciative of that. Okay, so for my ripple effect, um, a couple of years ago, I started a gratitude group, and what I did was just, um, I put in a Facebook group, hey, who wants to share gratitudes with me every day? So this has been two years ago. It was actually uh, January 27th, 2015, was when I sent my first gratitude text. 
and my group has been going strong. I had over 40 women respond initially, and that has grown. I think I've got three or 400 in the gratitude group now. And so the ripple effect of that has been, you know, the, the people in my group have made significant changes in their life. And even after two years of sharing gratitudes every day, we can look back and, and know the moment that our lives began to change when we put gratitude as our focus. So that's what I have to share about my own personal gratitudes and on to reflection questions. So once you have looked at your ripple effect and you are, um, you've completed your exercise, you want to move on to the reflection. So the first question to answer is, can you identify a gift or a skill set? When I say gift, I mean your personal gifts that you possess out of your ripples. So mine was um, the ability to motivate and inspire others. How can you use this gift to serve the world? This was something that I put in the book in the last chapter was all about, you know, identifying what your greatest gift is and using that gift gift to serve the world. So that doesn't mean it has to be some, you know, big movie star level thing, your greatest gift may be that you're a teacher and you plant seeds in the minds of young children. Um, your greatest gift may be that you support stay at home moms to, to, do, to be the best moms that they can be. Whatever that gift is, it's not a measurement of how big or small it is, but it's how are you taking that gift and using it to serve the world or in some cases even change the world. And I have a bonus. This is more um, this is more of a challenge, but not really a challenge because it'll be easy to do. But a bonus is send a surprise message of gratitude to a person that has caused one of your ripples. So my great friend Andrew will be getting a text from me um, just thanking him for something that he did three years ago. I have a feeling it will make him smile. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications, at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.